Hi. Let's hit the road together to discover about speed, velocity, and acceleration. The lesson is related to speed that you have worked on uh, the weeks before. I hope you will enjoy the session. We will start with definitions. By definition, what is speed? Speed is the measure of a distance covered in a specific time. How much distance you can cover in one minute, let's say, or how much time do you need to cover the distance between your house and a school or the shop next door? Velocity is related to speed, but how? Velocity is a speed, but you have to mention the direction. So if you don't mention the direction, you call it speed. If you mention direction, it means it is velocity, like you say. Uh, we went to school yesterday in our car at a speed of 40 kilometers per hour. While as, if you live in Saufar and you went to school in Ras al at a speed of 40 kilometers per hour, you say, I went to, to school at a speed of 40 kilometers per hour downward, let's say. Downward is the direction, so I'm talking about velocity. Now we will apply the idea of speed and velocity. You have three planes. All of them, they are going to move along the tracks you see in the picture. My question to you, do they have the same speed? No, they don't. They have 40 kilometers per hour, 30 kilometers per hour, and 45 kilometers per hour. Do they have the same velocity? Let me show you how are they going to move to the side. So they are moving in a straight line from left to right. Do they all have the same direction? Yes, they have the same direction. Do they have the same speed? No, they don't have the same speed. So, can we say they have the same velocity? Of course, no. Because to, for these uh, three planes to have the same velocity, they should have the same speed and the same direction. But here, they don't have the same speed, even if they have the same direction. So, these planes, they don't have the same speed. They have the same direction so they don't have the same velocity. We have the joggers running and we want to make sure whether they have the same velocity of not or not. Speed by definition is the measure of the distance covered within a given time. But velocity is speed and direction. So, to have the same velocity, they should have the same speed and the same direction. I want you to look at them. Do they have the same speed? And what is it? They have the same speed of 10 meters per second. Do they have the same direction? Let's see. Did they move in the same direction? No. Do they have the same velocity? No. They have the same speed, which is 10 meters per second, but they have different directions, so they have different velocity. Again, let's make sure whether these two joggers have the same velocity or not. They are still jogging around. And the question, do they have the same speed? 
Yes, 20 kilometers per hour. Do they have the same direction? Let's see. So, do they have the same direction? Yes, they have the same speed and the same direction. So, can we say that they have the same velocity? Sure, because they have the same speed and the same direction. What is acceleration? This is a new lesson. Uh, it's not easy, but I'm going to give examples to help you understand. By definition, acceleration is how fast velocity changes. Remember, velocity is speed and direction. When do we have acceleration? If the velocity changes. How does the velocity change? If we change the speed, if we change the direction, or both speed and direction. How fast velocity changes it means? If the speed increases in a short time or it took a long time. If the car took a very short time to turn left or a long time to turn left. If the car took a short or a long time to speed up and to turn left at the same time. Example. These two cars are going along the same track so they have the same direction. But the blue car is taking less time to finish this track so it is accelerating faster than the red car. In one second, the blue car increased its speed. This baseball player, he was running fast. Then, for a while, he fell down and stopped for a while. Then he moved again. This man is doing too much acceleration here. First of all, he was running and then he slowed down. He decreased his speed and almost stopped. And then he stood up and walked. His speed when he fell down was almost zero and then he increased the speed. And also he changed the direction. So, in this case, he is changing his velocity in a short time or in a long time, but he is changing the velocity, the speed and the direction. Let's describe acceleration now. Look at the car. Is it in motion or at rest? It is at rest, so it has a speed of 0 meters per second or 0 kilometers per hour. What happens to its speed now? It increased within a short time. So, can we say that this car changed velocity? Yes, because it speeded up. So, can we say that its acceleration changed? Of course. So, the car accelerated because it increased its speed. Let's describe acceleration for this yellow car. This yellow car was in motion and then it stopped. Can we say that the car kept the same velocity? No. It kept in, on moving in the same direction, but it was moving and then it stopped, so it changed the speed. It was moving at 10 meters per second, and then it reached to a final stop, which is 0 meters per second. So, the car changed its velocity. Whenever the velocity changes, it means the car accelerated, but in this case, 
The car slowed down. It did not speed up. So we call the acceleration deceleration. It means that within a given time, the car changed its, its acceleration in a negative way. We call it deceleration. Now let's check your understanding. I want you to look at these two boys swinging. The big question, do they have the same velocity? Don't forget, to, whenever we ask about the velocity, think about the speed and the direction, okay? Do they have the same speed swinging? No. Which one is faster? B. Do they have the same direction? Yes, they have. Swinging back and forth, back and forth. Do they have the same velocity? Of course, no, because even though they have the same direction, but they don't have the same speed, so they don't have the same velocity. Let's see if this car uh, have the same velocity. Does it have the same velocity? No. What is changing here? It's moving at the same speed. But what is changing? The direction is changing. That's true. It's not keeping the same direction. Since it's changing its velocity, can we say that the car accelerated? Sure, because its velocity is changing, it means that the acceleration is changing as well. By definition, acceleration is how fast the velocity changes. We have finished for today. That's all about speed, and velocity, and acceleration. You can start with your activity sheet. And always remember that I'll be around for any question you need. Have a nice day.